Hey everyone, welcome back. We've got some new Tesla footage, some Tesla semi truck footage. It's another Tesla semi truck just being tested in the open wide world in America. It's quite interesting to have a look at. So, we're going to have a look at a few other information. We know recently that Tesla completed over 500 miles on a single charge, I believe. And apparently they, they had a lot of load, you know, it wasn't just empty. Apparently there was a lot of load. So that's what we want to have a look at today. We want to take a look at this, this one just cruising by obviously with a Tesla behind as well, a black Tesla fully blacked out. And I think that's someone who works with Tesla. So I yeah, just following the semi truck is just a company operation. I, I think in my opinion. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty interesting. It's interesting how some of the vehicles they can have license plate at the back, others are at the front. Like the Tesla Semi, it's got a license plate at the front. Tesla X, it's got a license plate at the back. But I think America is one of those countries where it's optional, where you can put your license plate as long as it's visible. I th I think it's really interesting because in UK we gotta have our license plates, um, both sides. You can't you can't just have one. You you don't have any options. You gotta have a both sides. Whenever you break the break break the speed limit, they want to catch you. They want to make sure it's you. But yeah, there's also this image, uh, fairly new. This was posted by Autopilot, and uh, just uh, another Tesla semi. It could have been this one that made the 500 miles trip round. And you know, when I look at this vehicle from the from the cockpit, it it, it looks long. It looks like a, like a big cabin. But when I look at this one, it looks a bit smaller. But of course, we know there's two Tesla semis. We know there's a big one and a small one. But this looks like the big one, and yet it it looks a bit a bit smaller. But I think that's just camera angle, and that's just uh, based on perspective and everything like that. But wow, Tesla's looking to make a hundred of these, I believe. Uh, is that before the end of the year, or is that before, or is that early next year? Can't fully remember. But it's quite exciting. Now, I saw this tweet from Autopilot as well. So, Autopilot is the same person who posted that image, the previous image. And this one just says, this may be the load that was used for the 500 miles trip. It appeared to be 10x, 10 concrete jersey walls. And that would make the load 40 to 50k pounds alone. That's quite interesting. Now, if this is the case, that's a lot of load. If this is the actual load, that would be very impressive on the path of Tesla. I'm going to give Autopilot um, a follow because they post some really interesting stuff. Like this one, Spy for Tesla Semis. Another spy footage of just Tesla Semis. I think this one with the graffiti is pretty damn popular. Um, it's not a Tesla Semi, it's just a trailer. But I think we've seen this around the around the internet quite a few times. Now, if you look closer at the at the semi itself, you'll notice that that semi has a bit of uh, graffiti as well. So it's not just a truck, but it turns out it could be the semi as well. But yes, that's just some interesting spy footage. So what's really intriguing is to see how Tesla's built more than a few of these vehicles, more than a few of these vehicles. And it's just interesting to see them popping up everywhere. Otto has to say, Tesla Semi about to change the trucking industry. NHTSA VIN information for Semi truck submitted. And here's here's another here's another footage. Actually, this was from October. Might be a little bit old, but I I didn't react to this one. I didn't react. To, I didn't react to this one actually. Um, that's the one with the graffiti. Look, let's let's. Let's take a look. There it is. That's a very popular Tesla Semi. This looks like the Nevada factory. <laughs> it looks like the Tesla Nevada factory for sure. Um, that's a that's a bloody big factory, by the way, the Nevada factory. If I am correct, I could be wrong. I do apologize if I am wrong. But yeah, Tesla Semi right there, just cruising, bro. It's nice to see. Now I'm just wondering, is this the smaller Semi or is this the big one? That looks like the smaller Semi. This is just me, but that looks like a smaller Semi. Yeah, it looks it looks a bit a bit smaller. Let's check this shit out, right? We know what's gonna we know what's about to happen. He has no idea. He has no idea that Tesla vehicles are videoing him. <laughs> you should just turn around, dude. You should just turn around. Don't do it. You're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble. Around seven fifteen PM today at the rim in San Antonio, Texas, my car was broken into by this guy and he took the bag containing all three of my 
um, Paralympic gold medals. I heard about this. I remember hearing about this. This was April. Oh, yeah, this was April earlier this year. I heard about this, but I never got to spoke about it. But that's wild. I thought he was about to key the car, but uh, let's check it out. So, car knows something is going on, and he has no idea there's cameras. Come on, fam, come on. The, the sad thing is that he's going to go to jail for some stupid shit. <laughs> they probably already have him in jail. Gonna go to jail for some stupid shit, bro. Come on, man. Oof. And he's gone. And he's gone. You know, this is why you should never leave shit in your in your car, no matter where you go. You know what I mean? Don't leave your stuff in your car, no matter what. I, I don't even like to leave a bubble wrap or, or a candy in my car or even a penny. I don't like to leave anything because... You never know, like, if you leave a pound in your car, you might be thinking to yourself, a pound to me is nothing. But to a, to a drug, to a, to a crackhead, <laughs> to a drug addict, um, one pound is a lot. <laughs> it makes a difference. It makes a difference, fella. Um, that was wow. That was, that was wow. Um, yeah, that was wow. Now, let's check this out real quick, right? Um, this is just uh, a Tesla recall count that is apparently growing. Cars potentially affected by recalls by manufacturer from January 22nd to November 22nd. These are all the cars that could be possibly affected by recall. That's wild. So for one, Ford is winning this war. <laughs> that is wild. And obviously, um, Tesla is focused more on quantity rather than quality like i've seen the panel gaps in tesla cars i've seen the door handles the build quality yeah it's uh, it's not good it's, it's build quality that they need to improve and they will over time but a lot of these recalls are over exaggerated you know what i really found impressive was that the lowest recall on these lists was mercedes vw and BMW, that's that's what I found so bizarre. Old Audi is not even on this list, so they might even be lower, which is really impressive, by the way. And Aldi doesn't really build a lot of vehicles. They build just under a million, maybe 900,000, 800,000 on average per year. So that's impressive. But yeah, they, these numbers should be improved by these by these companies. Um, it's just interesting, but they some of these recalls are over-exaggerated. Like, majority of Tesla recalls are able to be fixed via software seriously while other companies when they have recalls it can be serious issues and some of these recalls are not just new vehicles they could be older vehicles as well that could be affected in the auto market recalls are serious things and i do worry about this when it comes to polestar polestar recall numbers will grow as the company grows but a good thing about polestar is that they're very focused on specific vehicle they're very focused on the polestar 2 the polestar 3 the polestar 4 very specific vehicle and the polestar 5 and polestar 6 they will be low quantity vehicles i have heard of the polestar 2 having issues and hopefully polestar can can fix those issues i've heard of the car locking people out not being able to access it via the key i've heard some stories man and it's not good but it seems to be it seems to be a small percentage but it's still it's still not good so let's check this out, right? This is just checking. This is just checking out Tesla build quality. All right, I'm a car guy, and I, I, <coughs> I get Teslas are a touchy subject for real car enthusiasts. But this, I don't understand. Like, can someone please explain to me the build quality of Teslas? This is a brand new plaid. <laughs> I mean, look, look at the front. It's open, and I'm tapping it, and the thing wobbles like it's gonna fall off the hinges. Holy shit! Okay, even my car has better build quality. <laughs> i've got a 2011 one series um and it's got way better build quality way better way better that car it's hard to find a, a flaw like something that doesn't feel premium and it's not a premium car it's a cheap car <laughs> i understand teslas are pretty much you know computers and they happen to manufacture vehicles but the bits and pieces don't fit None of, nothing's flush like it looks like toddlers put this together to damn <clears throat> Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> so just return the car, bro. Because listen, I don't know what we expected from an American manufacturer building cars. Americans have never built good good cars. I'm sorry. It's true. 
<laughs> you remember the recall list? Who was winning the recall list? Ford, an American, probably the biggest American manufacturer of all time, Ford. Um, yeah, this is wild. So I think they will improve quality over time. But right now, quality is nowhere close to a Mercedes or BMW. The amazing thing is that these cars, they cost almost the same, sometimes more expensive than some Mercedes and BMWs. <laughs> that's, that's why. <laughs> uh, re remind me not to buy a Tesla. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. I do love Tesla cars. If I if if I'm picking up a car, first of all, I'm going to spend a few hours checking it if I'm picking up a Tesla, especially a Tesla car. And if the build quality is anything close to that, I'm being like take this shit back. D dash it in their face, fam. That's not that's not a car. That's a piece of crap. <laughs> that's a wa that's like a 14th century wagon. <laughs> a 14th century wagon has better build qualities in fact because they actually took time to build those things properly you know what as well tesla hasn't been building cars for a long time they're so new at this they make a lot of mistakes which is why i love polestar because polestar is being built majority by volvo anyway and volvo is, is carrying everything over to polestar so the build quality is still really strong this is what we'll end this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace